Well, I hope you closed your eyes and thought of England. <laughs> London is an expensive city, and these rooms are not cheap. Tea, scones, tobacco, cocaine, it all adds up. All right, then. We'll have to give up scones. Speak for yourself. I'm not saying that psychopathic criminals don't have their downside. <laughs> but they're a damn sight more interesting than sleeping pussycats. We need something with an edge, something foreign, dangerous, a master criminal. Like mm, Professor Moriarty. Exactly. Surely you wouldn't strike down an unarmed opponent. And why not? Well, it's not very sporting. Being sporting <laughs> is for men. When women want to kill, they kill. Then what? You plan on calling the police? No, I'm planning on killing you. So I think that's what this first one does really well, is establish who these characters are. It sets up, right, that great um, sort of uh, conflict between... <laughs> hero and arch enemy. These characters are going to continue into other stories. There's four characters that remain the same, uh, and then uh, two characters are rotated out of each story. Professor Moriarty, the Napoleon of crime, <laughs> sitting like a giant spider at the center of London's underworld, plotting and scheming the most bizarre and outlandish crimes imaginable. That's precisely what we need. You do not think that I'm beautiful? I, I didn't say that. Women with guns are always quite striking. <laughs> <laughs> this has been an intellectual treat, but I must now bid you a fond adieu. Oh my god. So, be sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Stage with. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome to my YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. And the adventure of oh, the elusive Era Era E. Harkens back to the golden age of Hollywood with Errol Flynn and Douglas Fairbanks, and so it's um, swashbuckling and a lot of fun with comedy, humor, and it badass women. Badass women. Women being the best fighters in the room. Amen. That's how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, it's exhilarating. I've never done a fight scene before. I love it. Distance is your friend. Mitch is a fantastic fight coordinator, and Kelsey is amazing to work with. You know, I couldn't have a more ideal pair of artists to be working with. The opportunity to do a show where I'm not only working with them, but I also get to beat them because they would normally kick my butt. It was kind of nice too. A little bit more intention behind it. Still that exact same pace. That hit turn, bring a hand to the face to sort of show that's where you were hit. The audience is like, that's where you mm -hmm. um, Either this small big one goes all right. One small? Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Ah. Now suck a little bit of air out of this moment up, so it's like hit, oh heaven, oh dear. And yeah, so it's like boom, oh dear, and then we fall. Great, treating them with that respect that they deserve where yes, I know that that fight IQ may not be as high as someone else who has a lot of training, but just because they may not have that high fight IQ, that doesn't mean that they're not capable of learning very quickly. In any type of education, it's always about common language that you can use to sort of communicate your ideas. We'll go one, two, then double hand, three, four, scream. Great. Yes. Two hands, two hands, yeah. Aim, 
like grab gun here, here, pull through so it's stripped, okay. then step back. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Ah! Gun, shoulder, strip. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It can be very fast and very hardcore very quickly on top of everything else that they have to learn, including the, in including the intimacy right behind me. I had complete faith in them that they would, and they are exceeding my expectations. If I had to be for moments, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, whoa! Yes, victory! Just a wrist, just a wrist, yeah. Ooh, well, I must say, this has been most exhilarating. Treat it like a performance, but moving at that half speed. Let's on guard bitch. But I think it's a wonderfully ambitious thing that Stage West is doing. There aren't many trilogies that, and so being able to also utilize the same cast or the same performers, I think is a real treat that the audience will really enjoy. The difference between legato and staccato. Right now, as we're getting into more effort, effort creates creating staccato movements where it's quick and sharp and a little bit stronger than it needs to be. Legato, in this instance, translates to effort and skill. And because you are an excellent fencer, it's easy as can be. Yeah. yeah. So whenever you're ready, let's go right from I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. You're going to call the police. No. I'm going to kill you. What? Moriarty gave you two a challenge. He gave you both something to do, and that gave me something to write about. Professor Moriarty, the Napoleon of crime, sitting there like a giant spider in the center of London underworld, plotting and scheming the most bizarre and outlandish crimes imaginable. That is precisely what we need. I'm the artist.